we'd like to talk a little bit about World Green Building Week. So we are ahead of the world. World Green Building Week is celebrated every year across 70 national green building councils and over 49,000 corporations. This year, the focus of the World Green Building Council is trying to bring the message of green building and sustainability closer to home. And that we mean that in a literal sense, not just about the big buildings, the big shopping malls, the big factories, but we really want people to realize that even in our homes, we can start to see the benefits and the value of sustainability and going green. No stranger to the impacts of climate change. Our status as a developing nation makes us even more vulnerable to extreme weather events, which in recent years have only come more frequently and intensely. Practice is not only mandated and required but it is supposed to be sustained and institutionalized. Global climate change, as you know, is no longer a, uh, an ominous future, but it is a threat. Hospitals or the healthcare sector is energy intensive. It is a big GHG uh, producer because of its 24-7 operation. Today we'll also be recognizing distinguished green building movers in the industry as we award the winners of the Philippine Green Building Council Leadership in Green Building Awards. We have, uh, this year we have set a moratorium on uh, exploration and drilling activities for oil and gas. We have actually been a net producer of oil and gas for uh, some 40 years, I believe. What I hope today is that each one of you takes that concrete step, that concrete commitment to try and go green. And together we will continue to push the greening of our environment and as more sustainable Philippines for future generations.